This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Hey everybody, welcome back to Space Quest 6. Yeah, that's right, we weren't here last week. Yeah, that's right, we weren't here the week before, but we're here now. <laughs> you wanna fight about it? <laughs> <laughs> we just, we wanted to make sure that we missed our uh, anniversary ticking over into the fifth year of Level Zero NPCs. Yes, yeah, so we just hit our fourth anniversary, that's awesome. Absolutely. Now we're in year um, five. What what precious or I guess semi precious stone would be associated like this? This isn't our our, our diamond uh, anniversary. Is this wood no. anniversary or some shit like this that? Is, this is our, our 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 granite jubilee. Cellophane. <laughs> it's our <laughs> cellophane. It's our cellophane anniversary. Oh so my go god! Go unwrap a sandwich and join us for the conclusion. Well, the the probably the two episodes to conclude Space Quest Six. Yeah, man. Y'all ready? ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Ooh, where are we? Um, this doesn't look healthy. Sure. What can be said that isn't painfully obvious? Well, whatever this is. Whatever this is is not painfully obvious, yeah. fucking narrator. Some sort of cholesterol buildup. That's something. not good. She's a young lady. What has she been eating? Is this marshmallow? Staples, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's <laughs> true. All right. So we need to. Ooh, we have four, four, four. Never mind. We have four, four, seven points now. The alveoli is well placed in the blockage. Everything about that is upsetting. Now, why uh. couldn't he have just used his fucking arms? Yeah. Because this is a Sierra adventure game. Where are we in her? You know. Well, this is. Oh. And here we have the islands of Langerhans. They're a big deal here in the pancreas. So we're in her pancreas. <laughs> Apparently, they play an important part in introducing hormones to the blood system, as well as adding an enzyme which, when joined with the bile secretion from the gallbladder, forms some kind of spew that breaks down stuff the stomach acids don't, fats, and that kind of thing. Uh, Not only that, but some cells release insulin and others release glucagon to counter the insulin. It even offers up a bicarbonate to counteract the stomach's acid. All in all, it's a pretty strange and busy organ. Hmm. Hmm. It just looks like a uvula warehouse to me. A <laughs> <laughs> uvula warehouse. Solid. So, yeah. Already... A very educational episode. You've just learned oh. something about the pancreas. We learned so much. Congratulations. You educated. <laughs> Welcome to Pancreas Town. Yeah. So Do you guys really think to... that she wants us inside her, though? <laughs> I think she would prefer <laughs> us to be inside of her, fixing Maybe her problems. Maybe not in this way. Yeah. But then to, uh, yeah. Oh, she definitely wants us inside her in that way, too. Oh. <laughs> That, she made In that case clear. you missed the warning at the beginning of this episode, uh, <laughs> which is new. Um, thank, thanks, Coppa. Yeah, thanks, Coppa, um, you fucking piece yeah. of shit. Hey, hey, uh, Federal Trade and Commission, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely, us. Yeah. God damn it. It's uh, okay. We, P.S. We suck know a bag of dicks. Not for kids. Yes. We are not for um, kids. We've said this time and time again. Uh, yeah. If you don't know what's going on with with Kappa and and the the YouTube, I just look it up. I don't want this. Could be entire. This could be extremely timely. This could all like blow over. Like the FTC could fucking see sense and change their whole like stance. Yeah. Anytime. Like, but you know, a moment in history. Yeah. Right now, we're pretty pissed the, off at them. Yeah. The cop apocalypse is upon us right now. So <laughs> this is not all for right. kids. Yeah. Fuck. Ass. False. So, I mean, this is, yeah. This is ed this is slightly educational, but fuck. You know, <laughs> but, but, case. But fuck. Uh, farts. Yeah. Apartheid. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> I like that apartheid, despite being, uh, I mean, sort of, sort of, like, loaded is not at all an offensive word. 
Um, yes. Archetype. Anyway, do what is what is this <laughs> shit in the the helmet? What are we having here? So in my helmet, I have. Uh, you, you're excused for forgetting that something we recorded three weeks ago. Um, we got a bunch of bile from the. Uh, oh Hellwire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? You're right. You're right. Yeah, and so uh, there was a clue in the explanation of this room that the sort of secretion from here in the pancreas together with the gallbladder uh, create a sort of spew, they said, yeah. that uh, can break down things that the stomach acid does not. Let's get that going. Let's get some spew. Yep. There you go. You maneuver your helmet beneath the drip and manage to snag a nice little dollop of the stuff. Yep. So now we have uh now we have, we have spew. Uh, now a we helmet have... of spew. Let's look at it together and see what we can see, okay? Mm. Okay. Great. Alright, All right, let's get out of here. Yep. This was fun. Alright, alright. Through the blockage, through the concerning blockage. The concerning blockage, yes, the con just outside the uh, the pancreas. I mean, what's more concerning than the blockage is the fact that there's air in there. <laughs> that's the more <laughs> that's concerning a, thing to me. That's a very good point. <laughs> air and light. <laughs> like, that's... To me, yeah. that like, seems... I'm, I'm even kind of willing to, to um, give them the light thing. Like, you know, it's the future. He could just have, like, some sort of device that allows him to see in the dark or something like that. Oh, I sure. Mean, obviously he doesn't, because there sure. are, like, the previous space quests have required us to go through great lengths to not be stuck in the dark, but... Yeah, we've been stuck in the dark before, but, you know, even still, even still. Hey! Even still. Oh, you're gonna break down that. Yep. Ooh. It's one of those tiny timed-release pills. Ooh, multicolored pinballs. You now own one of those tiny timed release pills. Neat. Can get more? You now own one of those You now own, you now you own, now, you, you now you, own. You, 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 yeah, you. They don't, uh, <laughs> they don't allow you to, I mean, you. they allow you to pick them up, but nothing new gets added to your inventory, so. Which is fine. An endless supply of time release pills. Mm -hmm. Alright. So now we're gonna take a uh, a detour. Or, well, we I guess we took a detour to get to the pancreas. Um, I am very concerned with the air in here, though. Like, I, this, this mm -hmm. place should be filled with liquids and situations. <laughs> Maybe she had a burrito. It's pretty dry in here. <laughs> it should be filled with any number of body situations. Yes. Body situations. So many body situations. Uh, it looks like we're getting close to um, the exit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean by the exit, right? Yep. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Huh? There's there is so little that I like about this. What is this Great shit? Spot. That certainly is one buff parasite. Oh, it's a parasite. I think I'm gonna spew. But who'll notice? Man, that thing is ugly. Remember when remember when spew was an accepted form of of uh, vomit? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. That has no effect. At least it appears that way. In the three to five years, um uh, after Wayne's World. Yeah. Since you've entered the tapeworm, not partially digested, you'll probably give him heartburn. I hope you're proud of yourself. The deaths in this are the deaths are not meh. that are not that interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. One of those neat Let's see what that does to him. Let's throw that shit in there. Hmm. Impressive. The tapeworm suddenly becomes much more animated. Oh. Sweet. That's not what we wanted the to do. The is a little wired, thanks to you. He looks like he has plenty of energy. What did you give him? Please remember no to keep your arms and legs <gasps> on the worm at all times. You're gonna ride him? Sure am. 
Wow. You know, it wasn't until this moment I realized we had been without some pretty shitty music. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Now that's a ride you won't take in the Magic Kingdom. It was, I like the... That, well, that was on. actually, it was fine. It wasn't, yeah, that wasn't a bad song. There were, there have been some pretty terrible songs in this, but th that one wasn't so bad. That one was fine. It was fine. Whoa! It looks like an old silver amalgam filling. Must have been bouncing around here for years. This is the appendix. It's a strange piece of the humanoid anatomy considered by some medical types to be fairly useless. It may not be useful, but it does seem to collect some strange stuff. This is... It may not... Now, I'm not a doctor, but I... A fingernail, complete with paint. I heard that uh, making it down here. the appendix takes a sampling Some of your gut flora. Stellar grew such long nails. Perhaps you haven't been thinking of Stellar as a woman as much as a crewmate. You feel an interesting longing. You're married. One look at your surroundings kills that feeling fast. Or you have a girlfriend. Maybe after this is all over. <sighs> I hate that they did this. Oh, yeah. You snap off a shard of fingernail and gingerly introduce it into your pocket. So I heard the appendix keeps, they think that it keeps a sampling of your uh, gut flora, just in case you, uh, you know, get really sick and you, you puke it all out. Or you shit it all out. You carefully, very carefully, stow the paper clip in your pocket. But again, I'm not a doctor, and I might be completely wrong. But please, feel free to quote me. You're not a doctor? Not yet. You pull away a cracked piece of the filling. It's possible at any time any of us could be doctors. If we just try a little harder. Without hard currency, the Buckazoid has proven itself once again. This is even one of the old style ones. Might be worth some money. Too bad you can't carry it. You know what's a shame is if any of us decided right now to become doctors, we would face like a shit ton of ageism. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you like the worm, huh? Yeah, but once you we like became doctors, worm, huh? we'd be fine. It's... I let you ride the worm. Like we'd be fine. Like just with doctor school, medical school would be a, it would be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. But you're not wrong. After that, we're fine. They don't know. In fact, we'd be more trusted over some of the younger doctors. It's true, we would be the worst doctors in there, but we would probably be trusted because we have a lot of gray in our hair. At least I do. <laughs> uh, I don't. Hair. I don't yet, but I I will one day. We, we'd be able to use that ageism for, uh, to our advantage. Mm hmm You know, maybe even doctors that are far more qualified with us than us would, like, come to us for second opinions and shit. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> This is a nice reality. Let's make this happen. Misinterpreting us as being, like, useful. What is it? Eight years to become a doctor? <laughs> yeah. I'll at, only be almost retirement age by then. <laughs> I think I could do it. Oh, practice for a year and, you know, pack it in. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, that was good. Make enough money for one year of practice. <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, you know, all the crippling medical school debt. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the life insurance will cover that. <laughs> there we go. Hey. What was the point of any of this? Hmm? Oh. Well, I mean, we have some shit to do. Um, no, he oh, meant the game. What is the oh, point well. <laughs> of any of this? I didn't even mean the game. I meant life. You neatly replace the EVA suit. Why are we place. here? What is our purpose? Why is it almost time to stop? Well, because we've been here. We've been at it for about 15 minutes, so... 
Yeah, that's why. It's almost time to stop. Who ma- who said that fifteen minutes is is a good time? Who who made that decision? I don't know. One of us, like five years ago, <laughs> four years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're like the game grumps do about ten minutes. So if we do fifteen minutes, we'll be you know. People will really like us to get five extra minutes, and it makes it a nice, neat quarter of an hour section. And then some people. I'm not ready for whatever that was. We it's died. the most mathematically satisfying chunk of content. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people go to 20 minutes. I like to go to 15. Ah. Ah. Everyone. It's and it's not even. It's not even. It's not it's almost 15 minutes. I don't even know. Like, cause there's a little buffer. So what yeah, yeah, no. rarely hit 15. <laughs> yeah. The sweet right. spot's right about it's between 1350 and 1420. The sweet spot, I would say, is right about here. 